My people, while I still do, <laughs> um, you people remember that there has been argument over whose power is superior after the death of Junior Pope, who droned at um, Annam River in Anambra State. Now, they said that the power in the river does not permit anybody who drones in that very river to be taken away, except certain rituals are done. All right, so that was the reason why the first girl and the sound engineer with other guys too were buried at the river bank there because the families could not afford to perform the rituals uh, required for them to take their dead bodies home for proper burial. So the governor of uh, Akwaibom State intervened in that of uh, the makeup artist Abigail Frederick, and uh, the body has been taken. To their village and uh, the burial has been given to her a befitting burial so may her soul rest in peace so the issue still lingers on that of G uh, junior pope of course we know that uh, that ritual is going to be performed but to our greatest surprise they were demanding about 4 million and 40 million and be there about so the thing has brought a lot of uh, argument and they say that there is power in the river there is power in the water there is power in the sea and um, this is our brother here, Jeremiah Omotofifi, has come out to say that it is not true that there is no power there. Why this guy in this video said that uh, even the power of Jesus has to bow, even Jesus will bow for the water if it was to appear now. <laughs> so my people, let me know your own take while you take a look at this video. Um, Prophet uh, Jeremiah Omotofifi. So let's go guys. Jesus. The what? Who is Jesus? The water is more powerful than Jesus. Okay, okay. The water can never bow. Even now, Jesus go bow for this water. Wow. Pass this message to everybody all over the world. We are here to touch lives and guide lives. Let native doctors in River Niger, in you know, Onitsha Bridge or whatever place they call it, they should not try Jesus Christ. Water powers, demons, marine spirits that operating under the platform of water can never ever you use it to compare the power of jesus christ no matter the power what our spirit is we yes. command them and they obey marine spirit can never you use it to compare the power of jesus christ just only one point i want to give you but i want to just key you onto why you need a spiritual father all right media play how the young boy talk about the fanta how the Fanta come about? Who asked him to use that Fanta? Oh yeah, play it. I know they like cross water. He gets where everybody knows where he's from come. Before I cross water, they go observe them. Now he say, no, I say, okay, let me call my, my spiritual man. I call my spiritual man. She said, okay, no, see me, I go, say nothing. Say, if I finish so far, say, if I finish, that's good. Why me supposed to give water? People say, make I still come bring them for them. I say, okay, no problem. He reached the next day where I supposed to start. According to my spiritual mom, I bought Fanta. I used, um, I, when I got to the to the place, I bought Fanta. And I, I have 10,000 with me. I spread out for the water. I give small, small children with on top of the water. The remaining 5k with the idea to 200. I uh, that's small children on top of the water. We, I entered the boat. I carry my Fanta while I buy. All for the boat. First thing when Junior Pope asked me to, what did they do? At last, I said, there was a water people. I know they feel pass without sharing something. I don't give them Fanta there. I don't want to tell bad thing to happen to me. His spiritual father, he directed him to, like do, to buy Fanta. And he did it. Play it again. I know they like cross water. It gets where everybody know where he's from come. Before I cross water, they go observe them. Now he say no, I say okay, let me call my my spiritual man. I call my spiritual man. She said, okay, no, see me can go, say nothing. No. How powerful the water is. Me and you know that this water is more powerful that if water swallows somebody, you can't take the person to your home. Uh the Bible says that. Uh, that by the measure of the name of Jesus, every nation shall bow. The water will not bow to the name of Jesus. Okay. And the water has never bowed. Okay. The water can never bow. To, even now, Jesus will bow for this water. Exactly. I'm just telling the gospel truth. That means the water is, is more powerful than Jesus. The what, who is Jesus? The water is more powerful than Jesus. Okay, continue. Because this is God's creature. Okay. And this is a kingdom. Okay. And God allowed the power to be. 
And if you want to, that's whenever we come to water to do sacrifice. This brainwash religious mukus that doesn't know anything, you will think that there is nothing here, nothing is happening here. And I give you instance. If this water swallow a member of your church or your pastor, please don't bury the person here. Take the bed, the body to your home or to your church cemetery so that you have encounter with the water. Even the people listening, even you asking me question, you agree with me that this water, this particular water here, that they have never seen a man or a woman that this water swallow and they bury the person outside the water, outside the river. Yes. They must bury the person here. And it's the law. This law is not written in the Bible. Okay. It is not a law said by Moses. It's a law that this river said, if they swallow anybody, you must bury the person by the river bank. We are not here to just carry the microphone in order to, for joke. We are here to touch lives and guide lives. Now I come to that spiritual aspect. Before the young man enter into the boat, ask his master, Oga, we want to go to Rivao. We want to go to Rivao. River is not a place. What am I going to do? Then the spiritual father instructed him, guided him, guided him. Do like this, do like this, do like this. He said he don't know how to swim, according to him. Even one girl that who don't know how to swim, he saved her. He said, do you see what he said? He used money to buy for 10,000. For the children, sacrifice. That's what I have been saying. Time without number, anytime I carry this microphone. What are your sacrifices when you come to the house of God? You cannot just come to die, die, die and go. You know the walk. Listen to me carefully. There is a question that's going on right now in the social media. People say the native worker powers, the evil native, the deities that in the water are stronger than Jesus Christ. That is what is going on in the social media. Because two people, one girl that who just finished university, a makeup artist, she also be one of the victims and one young boy. Do you know that when they discover their corpse the following day, there's people in the village herein says, the gods will not agree. They will bury the people right at the waterfront where they die. And they really bury them. The family people said, no way. Who are that, those people that say, bury this one here and bury it? But to appease the gods. For what? They said, if anyone comes like this, if not, another thing will happen to their families. And they bury them there. Pass this message to everybody all over the world. Water powers, demons, marine spirits that operating under the platform of water can never, ever, you use it to compare the power of Jesus Christ. Let me say it again. No matter the power, whether the river Niger, whether the river Benue, wherever river they come from, you cannot use it to compare to compare the power that our Father Jesus Christ is carrying. People ask, people call apostles died in the water. When accident takes place like that in the water, why they die? And they are apostles. Let me tell you something. Very, very important. There are people that God has given grace in order to command waters. Not everybody have rights to command waters. Yes, yeah, sir. Not, not that water has no power. They have powers. Okay. Principalities, they are in the water. Then, God has given grace. That's why we have minor prophet. We have major prophet. <laughs> Elisha controlled the water and the water obeyed. Yes, if the water has power more than the grace that they carry, that means prophet can never ever open the water and hit and tida. Moses also commanded, water obeys. So whatever thing that inside water, God has given specific people in order to control. Water power has no rights 
to command or to control the children of God. We have limits in order to operate, especially major prophets. Major prophets. They command water. Let me tell you something. Not all pastors, apostles that have power to control water. That does not mean that water spirit is stronger than Jesus Christ. No matter the power water spirit is, you cannot use to compare the name Jesus Christ. We command them and they obey. Is it not the Bible says, once you mention his name, powers on earth, under the earth, shall bow. Under the different, there are some people that call into that. There are some people who don't have that grace to command. Let native doctors in River Niger, in Onisha Bridge or whatever place they call it, they should not try Jesus Christ. <laughs> in the book of Mark 4, 38, they were crossing to the other side. Jesus Christ was sleeping on a pillow. While he was sleeping, the water powers came in order to swallow them. The same thing that happened, we call accidents. Missile. On the way coming, Peter prayed, John prayed as an apostle. They called the name Jesus prayed. It does not work. They have to go back to their father that will carry the grace in order to stop the water spirit. And when Jesus stood up, he said, Who? You, whether you whether you like it, wherever you come from, I command you to be calm and still. The Bible says, immediately, that's how the water obey. Yes. How can a man compare water spirit, the small, small spirit, what a local spirit hey. to compare yes, sir. local spirit, yes, sir. mommy water spirit yes, sir. to compare yes, sir. the God that who created the universe. Yes, sir. That is why I call him. Hey. He is omnipresent, yes, sir. omniscience, yes, sir. omnipotent. Yes, sir. It is said yesterday yes, sir. and forever. Yes, sir. If God can save hey. the children of God yes, sir. right now in the waterfront, hey. what about you? Yes, sir. It can save you. Yes, sir. What you need to do, go to your master. Yes, go to your master. your master. The time that when the water came, hey. they went to their master. Yes, but they have no power yes, to control hey. the powers of the water. Yes, I prophesy to you, no water or the river or the stream cannot swallow you and your children in Jesus' name. So this is, the <laughs> this is where the problem is coming from now. Um, I hope because when when Jesus was crossing the river, according to the Bible, I'm not sure whether they were on life jacket, but believe you me today that if this man is crossing that same river, <laughs> uh, Apostle Jeremiah or Mother of Fifi, he will still demand for life jacket. <laughs> <laughs> he will still demand for life jacket. He will not command the water. You see, he will not command the water. He will still demand for life jacket. So, <laughs> we will just rest. We will rest. I beg you, I know if you shout. We will rest. <laughs> it has happened. With all these prophets in Nigeria, let me talk to you people. With all these prophets, nobody saw this coming. Nobody gave us a revelation and said, yes, you have major prophet. You have minor prophet. Just imagine here and here. You have major pastors. You have minor pastors. You have major evangelists, you have minor evangelists. You have senior pope, you have junior pope. Okay, junior pope. May the soul of this man rest in peace. It's, it's a very sad incident, quite unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the next news. Let me know your opinion. <laughs>